So, last class we have discussed about the convex set then convex function and we have discussed the, the convex function a set is said to be convex function if any line segments form between any two points and that it belongs to that line segment belongs to that set agree then it will be a called a convex set then we have discussed the convex function if a function is said to be convex function agree that of n dimensional set in a convex set s is said to be convex function if and only if this condition is satisfied that f of alpha x1 1 minus alpha x2 that function value is always less than equal to alpha into x1 plus 1 minus alpha into x2 and this alpha varies from 1 to 0 to 1 any values this one. This physical interpretation of this one this function if you see this one it is nothing but a that one this let us call it f of fun, f, f of x x is a two variables x1 and x2. Then this x1 and x2 belongs to a, a convex set and then we can write it that any value between x and x1 and x2 I can write it alpha into x1 plus 1 minus alpha into x2 alpha is any value from 0 to 1. Then this function value at any point on this interval that x1 to x2 any value this function value is always less than equal to the chord is formed from point 1 to point p 1 to p 2 what is the chord is formed and that on the line any point on this chord this will be greater than than function value. So, this is is if it is satisfied this condition it is called the convex fun function. So, <coughs> then we have di discussed some of the properties of the convex function. So, a function is said to be convex function if and only if that hessian matrix of this function is positive semi definite or positive definite over the convex set that means function that whatever the function is given if the hessian matrix of this function is positive definite or positive semi definite over the convex set then it will be called the function is a convex function this is the test for convex function. Then <coughs> let us see what is the convex programming problem. So, now we will discuss convex programming problem. So, if you have a g j of x is a function which is defined which is having a this type of function we have a let us call m functions are there and each is convex these are convex for j is equal to 1 to m. Then if if this function are convex then g j of x is less than equal to e j is also is a convex function agree that intersection of this convex set is called individual is defined by individual constant set or individual this. So, that in other words you can say if g of x g j of x is a convex function then g j x less than equal to e j also convex set their intersection is also a convex set agree okay? this is also convex function this j. So, next is your convex optimization problems convex optimization problems. So, any optimization problem we know we have a objective function as well as the constraints agree. Okay? So, a convex function a convex optimization problem is one a convex optimization problem a convex optimization problem 
is one which have the following form is one of the form this following form what is it that objective function is minimize f of x x is a n variables x is a n dimensional variables this equal to this function will be a convex function and convex function how you test it you find out the hessian matrix of this function if it is a positive semi definite or positive definite then it is function is convex function so the function which you are supposed to minimize that function must be convex and also subject to subject to equality constraint h i of x is equal to a i transpose x minus b i is equal to 0. So, this is our equality constraint and that equation is affine function means linear function is called affine function means or it is can linear in x linear function in x. So, a function is set to a convex optimization function then ob objective function or cost function must be cost cost function must be convex function, equality constraint is an affine function means linear function and equality inequality constraints x j of x is less than equal to 0 that function must be also convex function. then we will call it is a convex optimization problems. That means, in short we can say the objective function or cost function if it is a convex function and inequality constant also a con convex function and equality constant is the affine function then minimization problem we will call a convex optimization problem. Again, is your that our j, j how many functions are there in general we have also mentioned earlier that this we have a that is equal to m and the i varies that is how many equality, equality constants are there i varies you can write it that i varies from 1 to dot dot p. Okay. So, next is your quadratic optimization problem. problem. So, in short it is a q c problem, q c problem quadratic optimization problem. So, you write it here back at q c problem. So, in q c problem only the <coughs> you see the cost function or the objective function convex function, but it should be quadratic form convex function must be in quadratic form Con convex function may be any form, but it is a special case that convex function must be in quadratic form and equality and inequality constraints are affine functions of x. Then we will call it is a quadratic optimization problems quadratic optimization problems. So, according to our definition the quadratic optimization problem is one of the form that minimize f of x, x is a n variables are there and that must be I told you convex function, but that convex function is a special form which is quadratic form. So, in quadratic form already we have discussed earlier x transpose p x plus general quadratic form is like this q transpose x plus some constant r and it since our dimension of x n cross 1 immediately we can know what is the dimension of q bar because this objective function is a scalar 1 and this dimension is 1 cross 1 and this is since it is n cross 1 p e must be n cross 1 agree. So, this will be a what is called 
a convex function, but it is a in quadratic form. Agree? <coughs> so, now this this function minimize this and what is in quadratic form, this whole thing is quadratic form, general quadratic form and this quadratic form function must be convex function. We have already defined this quadratic form function will be convex function provided the Hessian matrix of this function is a positive semi definite or positive definite matrix. Agree? Then, if it is a quadratic form and convex function, then subject to subject to we have equality constraint x trans x the h i of x is equal to h i transpose of x minus b i. If I write consider this is equal to 0 about i is equal to 1 to dot dot p and g j g j of x is equal to you can write if you write it you can write into this form is g j of this is less than equal to 0 j is equal to 1 to dot dot m m equations of that. So, if you write it in matrix form the, this one I can write it this is nothing but a your this quantity I can write it as if it is a g is a matrix form into x is equal to b agree? and b is your dimension if you write it this is matrix form clubbing all this uh, i is equal to 1 to p this dimension is p cross 1 and since n is this one g dimension you know that it will be p cross n. Similarly, I can write it that one g of that one I can let us call since it is a, a better you write it a agree since it is a, a b you write it a. So, this I can write it g of x g of x k x is equal to less than equal to your some constant you can instead of less than 0 you can put it some constant let us call it is a c i c j some constant also you can put it. So, this equal to c j and that dimension is your m cross 1 this is n cross 1 this will be this dimension will be m cross n. Okay? So, it is writing in a matrix vector form this. So, this both this function or this function equivalently this this functions which is equality function is we have a p equality constraint, we have a what is called m equality constraint, inequality constraint, this all the function must be affine function, this should be affine function of x means linear, this is also affine, these and these are equivalent form. So, these constraints are affine function of what is called x. Now, you see if you take the since f n means linear functions, if you take the hessian matrix of this f n function linear function that hessian matrix will be 0, because if you take the partial derivative of this function twice then it function will be 0 this one. So, this is quadratic optimization problem and in quadratic optimization problem we minimize the quad a convex function which is in quadratic in nature agree over a convex set. <coughs> so, our practically in a quadratic in a quadratic that problem we minimize a convex function, convex quadratic function, convex quadratic, quadratic function over the over a feasible region formed by 
feasible region that is intersection of intersection of finite number of finite number of half half space half spaces and hyperplanes so hyperplanes is nothing but a that constraints that is equality constraints are there that is your h that is a i j x a i j into x minus b i is equal to 0, this is the hyperplane. Suppose, three dimensional case x 1, x 2, 3. So, it is you can write a 1 into x 1 plus a 2 into x 2 plus what is called a 3 into x 3 is equal to let us call it is b 1. So, it is a hyper three dimensional hyperplane and half space is formed from the inequality constraints means either this that half space either if it is a less than equal to 0 then in one side of this surface it will be there if it is greater than this then it will be another side of this surface. So, it is generally it is express that is what is told g i j g j of x is less than equal to c j in more specifically I can write it this one g j of the d j transpose of x minus d, d j of x you can the d j of x this minus c j if you take bring this that side c j is equal to less than equal to 0 that we can write it. Agree? So, this is inequality constant either it lies one half of this surface or other half of this I mean depending upon the less than equal to 0 or greater than equal to 0 and it will be on the surface when equal to sign is there. So, the quadratic problem is nothing but a minimization of a quadratic function agree quadratic convex quadratic function over the region which region intersection of this equality on an inequality constraint equality constraint we call hyperplane and inequality constraint is a high space space. So, or you can say combination of this one is called the polyhydron over a range of over a polyhydron. So, what is polyhydron? Polyhydron. A polyhydron is same this one polyhydron is defined as the solution set at the solution set at the solution set of a finite number of equalities and inequalities constraint a finite number of a finite number of linear linear equalities and inequalities. So, I told you that linear equalities linear equalities constant is the your hyperplane and linear inequality context is the hyperspace. So, let us see with an example suppose we have a equality constraints. So, in a let us call it the, the, the equality constraint and inequality constraint is a function of two variables x 1 and x 2. When I put this one constraint that x 1 is greater than equal to 0 and x 2 is greater than equal to 0 this indicates x 1 greater than 0 this indicate this space and when x 2 is greater than equal to 0 this indicates that this space that x 2 is greater than equal to 0 this one is x 1 is greater than equal to 0. In addition to that if you have a constraint equality constraint just like h i transpose of x minus you see what I am written 
you know this is not that constraint you have written a i x that means h i of x when you are written is a, a i transpose of x minus b i is equal to 0. Okay. This is equality constraint and inequality constraint in g j of x is less than equal to c j, okay, which I am writing it this one is that symbol we have used d j, this one is d j transpose into x minus c j is less than equal to 0. Suppose, if you plot it, I told you it is a function of two variables x 1 and x 2 and if you plot this one, this constraints, okay. let us call we have a some equality constraint or inequality constraint is there. Let us call this is our equality constraint h 1 of x, okay, one equality that means it is on the line, this indicates is on the line and this is the these are the inequality two inequality constants are there let us call this in this satisfy g i is less than equal to g i is less than g i minus c i is less than equal to in the this space similarly another inequality constant it indicates let us call this area okay so our feasible region of the optimization problem is that one so, it is a intersection of equality constraint and inequality constraint intersection of this one. So, it is a polyhydron and intersection of this point is called vertices of the polyhydron. Okay. So, this is called a region of our feasible region of our optimization problems. That means, if your problem is like the minimize function of a subject to let us call one equality constraint which is shows on the line itself and another two let us call g 1 is this one, this is g 2 is that one and two inequality constraint who, whose feasible uh, less than equal to this that g 1 is equal to less than equal to c 1 and g 2 is less than c 2 it represent this area, this, this portion and this represent this portion. Okay. So, this is the our feasible region and it, it, it forms with the int intersection of equality and inequality constant. You see this indicates the two halves either when it is g 1 is less than equal to c 1, we have consumed this is the that portion. When g 1 minus g 1 minus c 1 is less than equal to 0, this this portion. When g 1 minus c 2 is greater than 0, this portion. So, that divides into two halves in n dimensional case it is divided into a n half spaces. So, <coughs> an equality constraints it is on the what is called in this case on the line if it is more than two dimension variables it is on the hyperplanes that is. So, each vertices are the vertices of the polyhydron and we will show this later in uh, after the few lect lectures we will show it the function the function which you are going to optimize that solution of that optimized value of the function will be any one of the optimal solution we will get the vertices of this one any vertices of this one not any any particular vertices of this one but this point this point this point all are feasible solution out of this five vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, one vertices will give you the optimum value of the function either maximum or minimum that is we will show it there. So, <coughs> now if you see this one suppose let us call the our that objective function is like this way because it is a convex function is let us call it is like this way. and this is our objective functions. f of x and we are assuming that function value is increasing in this direction increasing this indicates increasing the value of function increasing the value of f x 
Now, you see clearly if you move this function towards this direction. So, if we pass through this vertex, this is one of the solution feasible solution. If we pass through this one is a feasible solution is there again pass through this one when it is go on in this direction the function value is in increasing. Our if our problem is maximization of this function I have to move this function in this di direction like this way and up to this you see this point also solution of the our problem that means at this point O point it will give you the maximum value of the function. Beyond that function value no doubt it is a more than this point value, but the solution is not feasible. In other words, the solution of this beyond that the curve, this curve is not what is called if you see this one, this is not a feasible solution means it does not satisfy at least one of the equality or inequality constant may be more than one also. So, our conclusion is if you if you just do the what is called convex optimization problem that function must be convex function quad, sorry quadratic optimization problem if you do it, the function must be quadratic form convex quadratic form and the equality and inequality constraints are your affine functions then you will get a polyhedron and each vertices of the polyhedron is a feasible solution of the problem either maximization problem or minimization problems then out of this vertices one vertices will give you the optimum value of the function whether you want um, maximization problem or minimization problems so this is called the polyhedron again <coughs> next is we have just discussed is your what is called quadratic optimization problem next is our quadratic constraint optimization problems quadratic constraint constraint quadratic problem so next problem previous problem is we have kind of quadratic optimization problems where that our objective function is a convex function but it is a quadratic the function is a object function is quadratic convex function and the our constraints are affine function whether equality constraint and inequality constraint both are in affine function. Next is our problem is quadratic constraint and quadratic problem quadratic constraint quadratic problems in short it is a called q c quadratic constraint quadratic problem q c q p. So, it is it is one of the form it is one of the form the form is the our minimize function x f of x which dimension is n cross 1 this you have to minimize and that function is a quadratic form not only quadratic form that must function must be convex function. So, this function is the quadratic form and it is a convex function that x transpose let us call I am considering p x plus q 0 transpose of x plus r 0. So, this dimension this since function is a scalar quantity and our x I have considered n cross 1 correspondingly q dimension you know immediately and this since x is n cross 1 this will be n cross n this and this dimension 1 cross 1. So, this function quadratic constraint quadratic problem so, this function will be quadratic convex function agree. So, this function is convex quadratic form. convex quadratic function. So, our cost function is convex quadratic function same as our quadratic optimization problem. In addition to that our what is called subject to equality constraints agree and inequality constraints. 
So, our x transpose p j x plus q j this transpose plus r j is less than equal to 0 j is equal to 1 2 dot dot m. There are m inequality constants are there which is a quadratic form nonlinear nonlinear function, but that function is a quadratic form agree function of this one and how many functions are we have a m functions are there and this function it is a quadratic form on not this one that we do in we know that you find out the Hessian matrix of this one quadratic converse function or not if the that Hessian matrix of this function is positive semi definite or positive definite then function is a quadratic convex function this one and in addition to that we have a equality constant which is a function of this is a affine function this is a affine function means linear function linear function in x so that that is is quadratic quadratic convex function convex function so our objective function is quadratic convex function then our inequality constant is quadratic convex function but we have a m inequality constant zero each is quadratic convex function and our equality constant is affine affine function in x okay then we'll call this problem is called the quadratically constrained quadratic optimization problems quadratic constrained quadratic optimization problems q c q p problem Okay. So, <coughs> in short we can write it in a and now you see our constraints is what previously our constraint in equality constraint and inequality constraint was linear affine functions. Intersection of that function we called is a polyhedron that means inequality constraint forms the hyper uh, half space and whereas, equality constant form is a hyperplane, the intersection of hyperplane and hyperplane all these things we get is polyhedron and the polyhedron intersection points are called vertices of the polyhedron. So, here is no more this is a affine function, this is a quadratic convex function, agree? just form is a ellipsoid form. So, the intersection of ellips ellipsoid and the linear equation this form a ellipsoid okay, in a quadratic constraint quadratic problem we minimize a convex quadratic function over a feasible region. How this feasible region is formed? The intersection of ellipsoids. This is formed over a over a feasible region that is the intersection of intersection of intersection of ellipsoid that means when p j is greater than equal greater than 0 okay. so this in previous case all equality and linear equality constant in equality constant was affine function and that they form is over a over a region of polyhedron but here over a region of what is called ellipsoid because this form is the, the ellipse elliptical form of this this one. So, remarks just see remarks when this p is equal to 0 this quadratic not this one that uh, that function 
quadratic optimization function you see that one. In quadratic optimization problems, if you see quadratic optimization problem, if p is equal to 0, then what is this form? This term will not be there, this is there and this is the linear equation, affine equation. So, our objective function is linear, inequality and equality constraints is linear. So, quadratic optimization problems transform into a linear optimization problem when the p is equal to p matrix equal to null matrix, okay? this term will not be there. So, linear in quadratic, quadratic optimization problem special case when p is equal to 0, this quadratic optimization problem boils down to a what is called linear programming, linear optimization problems. In quadratic constraint optimization problem, you see our objective function is convex quadratic form as well as inequality constraint is quadratic what is called uh, convex function. In quadratic con convex function in inequality constraint, if we assign, if you see this, this one, if you assign this quantity, if you assign this p j for all p j, j is equal to 1 to m, this matrix is null matrix, then this term is not there in equality constraints, only linear term is there. Here I missed a term x, please note x is missed here. So, if p j is equal to 0, this term will not be there, j is equal to 1 to m, all cases that p j is 0. So, this is now becoming a linear affine function, but our um, objective function is a quadratic convex function and when p j is 0, this two equality and inequality constraints are becoming a affine function. So, the q c q p problem turns out to be quadratic optimization problem when p j equal to 0. So, it is a special case of this one. Now, <coughs> next our problem is that how to solve such type of optimization problems that is next question. We use our KKT condition what we have is then, then we have to solve it that one that is one way of doing. Another way of doing is this by linear programming a quadratic optimization problems we can solve by using the linear programming for this one. First is considering the what is called the KKT condition and then after that KKT conditions if you do its necessary condition then you solve it by using the linear programming. So, we must know what is the linear programming. So, next topics will be the linear programming how to solve a linear optimization problem using that numerical techniques. Okay. Before that just one thing I will just discuss about the what is called that your um, theorem one. Convex function, convex function of convex function. Convex function of convex function is called that you, this is called composite function. You can say function of a function, function of a function which each every fun, each function is a convex function, okay? but there is a some different properties is there. So, assume the theorem telling assume that f of x is a convex function is a convex function on the set on the convex set s is always we, when you write s is a convex set on the set convex s means when you write on the set it is a convex set agree and over the range you can say over the range f of x sorry x is less than equal to b is less than equal to x a. 
agree and this on convex set s if h of y if h of y is an increasing convex set sorry increasing f of x is a convex function over the range on y is less than equal to f of y less than equal to equal to b then g of x is equal to h of define h of y y is a function of y is a function of y is a function of x agree y is a or you can say y which is a function of x so f is a you see f is a convex function and h of y is also h of f x is also convex function but increasing convex function over the range of a to b agree so then it is called this function is called composite function which is also is a convex function agree this is also this is a composite function is also composite function also convex function it is nothing but a convex of a function of a function if function is a convex function another function which is function of that function agree okay, which is increasing in nature in that same interval then it is called composite function over the function of that composite function is also is also convex function let us take one example that our f of x example f of x is equal to x square is convex function and this convex function if you say if you just plot it x versus f of x means y let us call it is a parabolic type and it is a convex for over the all range of x agree minus infinity to plus infinity convex function everywhere you can write everywhere so f of x is a convex function and h of y is another function which is a e to the power of y agree e to the power of y and this is this is that is h of y it is the increasing function and it is a convex function it is exponentially increasing function if see if you plot it this one is exponentially increasing and it is a convex function by definition of convex function you see any point on this curve join two points on this curve join if you join together you will get a curve agree okay? and these two points belongs to a convex set and any point on the convex set function value is always less than what is the value of the point on the curve from that value is going so this is and this is equal to y let us call y is equal to f x is equal to this and this is is increasing increasing convex function increasing convex function everywhere if you plot it this this one e to the power of this this is y agree and e this is zero from one i am plotting what is i am plotting f of y f of y i am plotting you see from it will start from one and go on increasing this one and this point is a convex function and increasing value of this function this then g of x that g of x is equal to h of that is i am mean h of y y is what f of x that is h of y is equal to f of x is what is x square okay and what is h of y is a function of is nothing but a 
g of x now I can write it is nothing but a h of x square and is nothing but a e to the power of x square. And this composite function composite function is also is also convex function. Now, how you check it this is convex function? You just take the twice twice differentiation of this function with respect to x, agree? then you will get this function below is always greater than 0 for any value of x. Let us say if you take the second derivative of this, if you have more than one variable I told you that function you have to differentiate means that Hessian matrix you will get twice that is function has to differentiate twice that means in turn you will get Hessian matrix if the variable more than 1 then that matrix must be positive definite or positive seven image. And in this case it is, since it is a single variable you just do it this one you will get if you do this one you will get e to the power of x square plus this agree into 2 x square which is greater than equal to 0 for any value of x in the range. Because we have seen that f of x function given example f of x agree what we have considered x square it is a convex function everywhere in the domain that means minus infinity, infinity to plus infinity. Similarly, that we have a function of h of y which is e to the power of y agree it is the power of y that is also a function of y for everywhere and it is increasing convex function. Then g of x is the function of y which in turn we can write x square is this way and this function is a convex function. The composite function, function of a function both are is a convex function, resultant function is a convex function. So, this is our conclusion for this one. Now, I just I mention it then how to solve the quadratic optimization problem by using that what is called the linear programming. So, we will start for now what is linear programming. Agree? So, next topic is your linear programming. Methods for optimize optimum design. So, we know first is we define already we have defined that what is linear programming that objective function that means cost function that means f of x if it is a n variable this word this function is linear linear function and subject to the constraints to the constraints and we have a constraint equality constraint and inequality constraint that h i of x is equal to 0 that h i of x I can write it into this form a i transpose x minus b i is equal to 0 form and i is very to 1 to p. Okay. This must be linear and also g also g j of x agree is also that less than equal to 0 or less than equal to c i some constant agree less than equal to c i or some constant that is also our <coughs> c j and j is equal to 1 to dot dot m this is also linear this is also linear then this problem is called linear optimization problems. That means, you find out the value of x, so that it satisfy this constant as satisfy the both the constant as well as the function value will be minimum or maximum. Cost function this cost function let us call minimize this cost function or maximize. So, this problem when all 
cost function as well as inequality and equality constraints are linear that problem optimization problem is called linear programming problems. So, to solve such type of problems either analytically or numerically. So, first we have to convert into a standard LP problems. So, how we will convert into a standard linear programming problem. So, first we will define what is a standard linear programming problems. So, our problem is minimize minimize the our objective function that objective function is f function of that x which is a function of n variables. Let us write their detailed expression and that expression this function is linear. So, x 1 c 1 into x 1 c 2 into x 2 and we have n variables. So, it is a c n into x n. So, you have to minimize this function and this function you can write it that c 1 c 2 dot dot c n all are known okay? all are known and this function below is real and known may be positive negative 0 or the function below is known real known function known and real coefficients. Okay. This I can write in terms of matrix um, vector form okay, where c is equal to you write it that c 1 c 2 dot dot c n is a column vector and c transposable row vector multiplied by column vector this will be a scalar quantity. So, our objective is this one subject to equality constraint and inequality constraint is it not. So, our standard problem is there our standard LP problem is minimize this one subject to that is why I am calling it a standard problem subject to that subject to the equality constraint subject to equality constraint only. Suppose, if we have a inequality constraint I always I can always convert into equality constraint agree. So, that much standard LP problem is telling minimize this linear function like this way and subject to this equality constraint x 1 plus a 1 x 2 plus dot dot a 1 n x n because we have a n variables are there is equal to let us call it is a b 1. Similarly, in second equation a 2 1 x 1 a 2 2 x 2 plus dot dot a 2 n x n is equal to b 2 and in this way we have a m equality constants are there a m 1 x 1 a m 2 x 2 plus dot dot a m n x n dot dot this is a b m. So, our standard LP problem please remember minimize a linear function subject to our equality constraints and this inequality constraint b 1 b 2 b 3 dot dot b m all are greater than equal to 0. This is the they put it like this way all are greater than 0. And and an x i is greater than equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 to n. This also must put constraint like this way. So, minimize this function subject to equality constraint like this way real right hand side of this one which is a constant term. This is a constant non negative number non negative numbers this and x i is greater than 0 for all values of x 1 x 2 n 
So, if your problem is if you are having an inequality constant convert into equality form keeping the constant term in the right hand side positive then it is a standard LP problem. If I write it matrix and vector notation form which uh, we can rewrite this optimization problem minimize f of x is equal to c transpose x this one subject to a into x is equal to b and b dimension is m cross 1 n dimension is x dimension n and a we have a m equations are there. So, that dimension is m cross n agree our b is you can write greater than equal to 0 and x is greater than equal to 0. x is vector that we have a each component of this vector x 1, x 2 dot dot x n is non negative number x greater than equal to. Similarly, b is a vector of m cross n that each is each element of b is a non negative number. That means, right hand side of the matrix equality that is a x is equal to b that constant matrix b must be what is called positive. So, now our problem is which is unknown this x is unknown. So, our problem is minimize this function subject to this constraint equality constraint okay? in, in other words you solve a x is equal to b in such a way that function below will be giving minimum value. Okay. You are, we are looking for some value of x 1, x 2 dot dot x n. So, that this function value will be minimum as well as this constant are satisfied. So, basically it is nothing but a solution of algebraic equation a x is equal to b. This is known, this is known from the description of the optimization problem, this is known and this is unknown. So, I will in general that what is called any problems are there equality constant and inequality constant if it is a linear form agree I can always convert into a x is equal to b form keeping the right hand side term is positive quantity that we can form any problem linear programming problem can be converted into standard L p problem. So, I will stop it here today next class I will continue this one.